You're being aggressively ridiculous. Hi. Still weird. Okay, so um, I just solved a dilemma that I did need to have, which was SD cards. As you can see, I already got into it. One of them I'm actually using right now because I decided to start filming in 4K. I was gonna need way more space than what I had. And because I was unwilling to pay more than I needed to, you bet your bottom dollar I went to China. <laughs> and by China, I mean AliExpress to wait a little bit longer than necessary, but also to pay a fraction of the price for a 128 gig. So that means I got two straight hours of straight 4K quality. Where else are you getting that? Where else are you buying that, babes? I'm not gonna lie, I don't know the specific specs. I was definitely told to get a certain kind of car when I was at college, but uh, for me, doing me and my 4K, don't need it. So I got this, this one you can actually see. Stop playing with them. Literally not choosing to focus, but I prefer the autofocus than to be playing around. So again, my main goal was just 4K. This is the 128 gig SD card. The second one that I got was also 128, uh, also 4K, but it had a micro SD card. I don't even know what that's called for real, but it's the one that goes inside the SD so you can have an alternative. And also it'll make it easier in the future if I buy more SD cards, which I probably will end up buying more. But just for the right now, I got me two of them because honestly, my last filming at or whatnot, I ended up running out of space. And that was kind of embarrassing, okay? But it was only embarrassing because like a good US citizen, I would buy US prices of the SD cards and I was just not here for it. Let me check how much I actually paid for that. Maybe it was a deal, maybe it was a steal, I don't know. All I know is that I wasn't paying more than what I had to when it came to that. So for this one, this blue one, I paid $4.87. Doth I stutter. And this, I paid $7.68 for. Doth not get better than that. Because, I don't know, I couldn't tell you the exact prices from like the 64 gigs I had. These are my previous two SD cards. They're both 64 gig, which it won't focus on. It simply won't. But they were both able to film in 4K, which is why I went and used them out on my last filming adventure. But at the same time, it only had so much space. I got a good 30, maybe 40 minutes of good 4K filming footage. But of course, when you're out in the field, that ran out quickly. What a quickness. You know, it gives me an opportunity to really up my equipment, up the fact that I have like three, four, five, six, seven, eight <laughs> SD cards now. Of course, as I'm progressively buying more and more, I'm getting better and better quality. So these are class 10s. I don't know what all the specs mean. This one can read up to 90 megabits per second. I guess that just pertains to the quality of like how fast you can upload something to a hard drive or a cloud of what kind whatever have you i wanted to experience both both from the micro um sd card within the sd card and just a regular sd card for backup or whatever but yeah just like i had to invest in like multiple batteries i i saw very clearly that i had to invest in multiple sd cards the multiplicities sorry if it sounds like i'm just i'm speed running my thoughts because that's literally how i live my life like, I don't assume I have any mental illnesses, but if ADHD was a crippling thing, I will speed run right past it. 